hi everyone welcome to my image processing tutorial now in my previous movie I have told you something about the image filter and how it works and also and the, about the image view file um, people who are watching this video for the first time I would recommend them to view the other movies in the playlist first so that will make them feel better so uh, in the project we are almost done with the uh, image viewer uh, we have examined how the image filter works in Java now is left one left is that the image panel so let's take a look at the image panel the first thing that we have imported three objects uh, inside the Java data router package one is graphics one is canvas and one is image so there uh, we have made the image panel that extends the canvas so canvas object is some place that where you can draw actually now inside this um, class we have declared two three sorry three uh, members one is that uh, image object uh, in two integers h and w which will hold the height and the width of the image so let me tell you first that what should be the purpose of our image panel the Java file or this image filling class so we have loaded the file from the disk and then we have passed it we will be passing that file to this filter and then the processed image we have to show it in our window so to do so we have uh, overloaded or we have defined a constructor image panel that takes the image reference and simply copies that or simply assign that reference uh, is in the image object and from that image object we have uh, initialized its height and its width in h and w variable and finally we have set the size of the canvas to the width and height of the pixels so this is for the constructor and there we are uh, using uh, the draw image procedure of the graphics object that will draw this image object now uh, there are certain things to tell about uh, in this program that we have been using image dot get height get width then a reference to the current class that is the image panel using the this pointer or the this reference so this is uh, the image observer means some modification or some update or loading complete that happens to the image the observer should be this class that's that's why we have used this procedure in two cases and then we have drawn the image from using g dot uh, draw image file so and there we have used zero zero that means we'll be starting the paint from the uh, top left corner of the screen so let's uh, run a program again so this one this one this file will be processing this one uh, so let's just process it so the process image we're having is this one so what what the workflow in this case just minimize this one to a suitable size mm, now it's okay now so we have loaded this file mm, using the load file procedure inside image viewer and then we have processed it using this set pixel method and then finally we have drawn that uh, image inside the canvas so the canvas is this part so from here I mean from this corner to the furthest corner and the process image has been drawn in this way and you can have an idea that the original image was of was blue and from there we have taken out the blue part of it uh, and modified a value with a small value compared to 255 that is 3 or 4 maybe so if we take blue from the the bluish part so we get a some sort of greenish effect inside our image processor so this is how it works so uh, I guess you now have an idea 
about uh, how our program works. Now just a little bit left to getting all these three files together and to explain how they work. So stick on for my next tutorial and thanks for watching this video.